Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 13th of 2021 and ever since the very end of the Mandalorian season 2 finale, a lot of fans have been very much invested in what Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are about to unveil by this fall when it comes to all of their new Star Wars projects and exactly what's in store for the Mandalorian season 3. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars material. Also, if you guys would like to go ahead and check me out at Mike Zero One on Twitter, you can go ahead and do so if you would like to. Now, when we go ahead and examine what Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have really been brewing in the past couple of months, is that they're working on multiple projects like the Ahsoka series, The Mandalorian Season 2, or should I say 3 and 4, a lot of things are being done right now currently for the Book of Boba Fett as they enter post-production, so they really do have a lot on their plate ever since Mando Season 2 came to an end back, of course, in the end of 2020. So when we examine what George, John, and Dave are up to, given that yes, they are working together as a team, a lot of work is being poured into all of these new projects that are also going to be announced by this fall. So. Right within that November to December time frame, all right, we're going to have a lot of material coming our way. The brand new Star Wars roadmap, that's all going to be updated, giving fans a more vivid view of the release dates of specific TV shows and movies that are really going to be crucial to the Star Wars universe moving ahead. So when we go ahead and focus on everything related to Disney Star Wars as a whole, what's really exciting has everything to do with what Jon Favreau and of course what others have planned for brand new eras as well as familiar characters. Now we obviously know that ever since the sequel trilogy, a lot of fans have been trying to forget anything about the sequels as a whole. So now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on the new Star Wars universe, it's best described that both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are actively working on shows like Star Wars Ahsoka and even others like The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4 that are indeed in active development, plus more shows to be announced later this year. However, it's further described that currently creator Jon Favreau is said to have recently met up with actress Daisy Ridley to take part in a new Star Wars TV series that is actually said to involve a major cameo for Rey in live action form. It's described that both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are working on the early stages of a live action Star Wars series that takes place after episode 9 that will be announced by this November that is actually set to involve a big time cameo similar to the character of Luke Skywalker's moment in the Mandalorian season 2 finale. However, it's said to be longer and how Rey is set to be on screen for the series. Daisy recently was hired for the role of Rey to come back into the Star Wars universe, and that this is said to have been a decision that was primarily made by creator George Lucas who recently hired Daisy Ridley to come back into the Star Wars world, and is allowing Jon Favreau to take the proper steps to reimagine the character of Rey in this post episode 9 era series that will truly take fans by surprise. Rey is set to actually have a major redesign for the series and that Ridley is said to have actually caved into coming back for the role since it is only set to be a cameo for the Star Wars show and not a significant dedication on her part. Now the series is set to also involve a big tease of Rey's new Jedi Order that will give fans a glimpse of what the Jedi Order is set to be like after episode 9. Favreau is said to be doing this to actually give fans his version of Rey in the Star Wars universe. So this is a very interesting progression and something that goes is very unexpected because let's face it, I mean Daisy Ridley said this before in the past that she never really had an interest in coming back to Star Wars unless John Boyega and or Oscar Isaac were going to be involved. So it is coming as a big surprise now that John Favreau and Dave Filoni are even allowing, you know, Daisy Ridley to come back into the Star Wars world. And the fact that Daisy Ridley even came to the conclusion that this would be a great idea for herself. Now, it does come as a surprise because Daisy went from a moment in which she was like, I'm not coming back to Star Wars, I want nothing to do with that, to, of course, where she is now coming back as a major cameo in this planned post episode 9 series. We're not quite sure exactly if it's going to be something more around the lines of, 
you know, the Mandalorian type of format, you know, that type of story where it's going to focus on bounty hunters with, of course, a subplot of Jedi. We don't really know anything about that yet. But this post-Episode 9 series is set to actually give fans a big tease of Rey's New Jedi Order, giving fans a closer look of what happened after Episode 9. Now, that's not to say, of course, that she is coming back for the planned Rise of Skywalker sequel series that will be in animated form. Daisy Ridley is still not returning for that. In fact, there is a replacement for the character of Rey, and of course, that is indeed Kira Knightley, who also has been in Star Wars, specifically in Episode 1. So, it's a very interesting thing here that we have a scenario in which Daisy Ridley is now accepting the coming back to Star Wars, at least for a major cameo, in a new planned Rise of Skywalker, post-Rise of Skywalker, I should say, series. That's really going to take fans by surprise. Now, on the other hand, we have John and Dave trying to be very careful with how they want to actually gravitate towards some of the Star Wars fans, right? They also know that, yes, there's a lot of fans out there that have a lot of issues, with, of course, Daisy Ridley, or a lot of fans out there that just have a lot of issues with how the sequel trilogy was as a whole, and they don't really wanna, they don't really wanna remember anything about that, to say the least. So, this is a very interesting point, the fact that Jon Favreau wants to give the fans his version of Rey, his take on the character of Rey Skywalker slash regular Rey. And I think that it's going to be a very interesting thing to see in live action form of what he's going to do. Keep in mind and take note that there is going to be a major redesign for Rey in this planned post episode 9 series. That could be anywhere from this taking place years on later, making her appear older, or anything as simple as changing her outfit and her hairstyle. It could be something as simple as that. So there is a lot of work being poured into this new universe. I must say, I'm very excited to really begin to witness that things are beginning to change. Things are indeed beginning to shift. And now we're in a, you know, a specific scenario where Jon Favreau is really trying to steer things in the right direction progressively. You know, I think that he's going to do a wonderful job at, of course, you know, bringing Star Wars back into action the way that it really should be. And to say the least, I mean, Dave Filoni at his side, you know, what's not to like, right? Though I was never a big fan of Rey, you know, in the sequel trilogy. I mean, she had her moments that were actually quite impressive here and there. But let's see what Jon Favreau can do with Daisy Ridley coming back as this reframed version of Rey and how he's going to treat the character, how her line delivery is going to be, and exactly how that's all going to be done in live action form. So yeah, guys, you know, let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.